and welcome back everybody to episode 4 of our Bithynia campaign on the overhaul mod Demetrius Perikoikis. I think it's, I don't know, that's how I'm going to keep saying it, but it's an overhaul mod for the Wrath of Sparta campaign. And, yeah, here's the map, but this is, uh, this is our holding so far. So the map's a lot smaller than you remember compared to, or than I remember, but there's a lot of provinces over here that, you know, are not accounted for, basically. Compared to Troy, though, whew, Troy's campaign welcome, map is, welcome. oh, that's a good, yes. Compared to Troy's map, this is extremely gods. small. Troy has, like, eight provinces in gods. this little area alone. But enough of a game that I'm not playing a lot of. So our culture is going up here. There is a Empiric or a Lysanmart army coming this way. It is decent quality, but I don't think they've got enough to take Sestos if that's all they're bringing. But yeah, I think we're at it in turn. We're raiding. We took Lydia as well, and our army is here. He is. We just sacked Melitos, and we're destroying some uh, buildings to make sure when we do lose them, it won't really hurt us too much. We could try and keep it if I wasn't too worried that this army was not large, and it's far away from a recruitment center. We might try. It might be worth trying to keep it possibly here. I mean, Koss is building an army, and they are building a... That's a navy. But... I don't think so. I think we need to recruit a full stack army and then possibly possibly march north to, to uh, wrap this up. Byzantium looks like it's going to actually take the capital of Lysimarchus uh, this time since it's ungarrisoned, but we're going to end our turn. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying as always and enjoying the little bit of mod that we're going to see here. Hopefully we'll, we'll, it'll eventually pick up once we... Uh, give Lysamarch nowhere else to run. Do let me know if you would eventually like to see more of this campaign as well, as it is enjoyable. Uh, let's do Hunted. Yeah, Rebellion of Militos, we expected that. This will be released Wednesday as well. It's being recorded Sunday prior, as I try and record pre-ahead of the week, which you can leave comments, it's just I won't get to them or I won't be able to update the playthrough until the next recording session, which is usually the weekend. That's when I do like to try and do all my recordings, is on the weekend when I have a lot of time. Uh, right, so we just got water sluicing, which gave us the growth and the wealth. We've already got that one done. 2% culture, boiling, ooh, hmm. Three upkeep, that's for fleets. This is all for fleets here. Because let's do engineering. So where did this army go? Let's see. Did it go back this way? Is it going back to its capital? It is not. Byzantium is probably going to take that capital. Did it go further? Oh, it did. Do, it went further. No reason to kill the general, as I think they'll die at Sestos alone. But let's go through here, where you've got four three skirmishers, four hoplites, three cavalry. Let's go ahead and get some warriors. Four warriors, at least four slots left. Very nice. We maybe get some slingers in there. Meanwhile, over here, that is... Is that what we have here? Oh, no, Pergamon. It's the same province. I forget how big that province is. Lydia is going to be a financial hub, I believe. We've destroyed all the buildings here. There is a rebellion going on. We're going to march over and try and take or eliminate Sestos as well. Hopefully it won't be too... Eight and a four. That's actually quite strong. Let's... Is that really the only way we can go? Sheesh. Let's see how it says. Okay, it says we fare pretty well here. We're gonna quick save and we're gonna just auto resolve this battle. And we're gonna uh, loot it. Disengage and destroy everything. There we go. Now, do remember we will be back eventually to take this province here. It's just that this army could not hold this land on its own, I don't think. 
They do still have Kindos and Hal Halicarnassus down here, which I think that's just stretching it too far for the king. Which is the main reason I'm pulling him back, is because he needs a strong army and he doesn't have that ability yet. So we're going to move him over there and we're going to start the uh, trip back. Meanwhile, over here in Lydia, we can do some upgrading. I probably We probably want to get this, honestly. The religious center. Question is, we have two industry buildings, which is good. Do we want to increase that more, though? This gives supplies 5% from industry. Okay, it's pretty decent. Four public order, three sanitation, four thration. This will give... We will be getting sanitation issues, actually, so we might want to stick with some high sanitation buildings. The question is, which one? This one. Because we are getting one up here as well, I think. We already have it, yep. Very nice. Because sanitation is also lacking in these other two regions. Hmm. Sanitation only applies to the main building. I just remember that. I keep thinking this is different. It does not. It applies only to the first region. Which makes me wonder, is there any building that gives sanitation province-wide? And it does not seem that way. Okay, then, if that's the case, we might go... Ah, eh, four wealth. That's fine, actually. Go up here. See what we can get. Four food. They're at negative two, so we're going to wait. We can upgrade this guy here. Uh, let's do... Just give us some good food output. Because we do have a... I think this is... Yeah, this should be a good farming region. And the capital... A farmer's market would increase that agriculture, or we get public order and wealth. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Commerce? Meh. I think that'd be the best choice of actions. That's only one... Oh, that's not bad. We should get that, actually. Alrighty, though. Let's go ahead and end our turn again. Yeah, this is why this video, uh, this uh, series is only going up on Wednesdays, as I do think it'll go by a lot faster than uh, all the other series we're doing right now. That's the first we've seen of Sparta. Some island hopping battles going on right now. Cost is heading somewhere. Oh, yep, y'all can have it. Don't care. <clears throat> we'll let the rebels take it. It's all right. Oh, it's a, actually it's a faction. It's a legitimate faction. Oh, it is. I will listen. They want but peace. I say for how long, but they will not. <laughs> they will not accept anything else. They just just peace. Y'all can have it. I accept. So they're actually a faction. Sure have some decent Cyprian wine around here well, y'all can have it, I guess. I didn't expect a faction to actually rise. Uh, we will not make them more upset. We will sail to Sods. Samos will be abandoned eventually, or it shall rebel. And so will Ephesus. Oh, Samos is part of a different province. I didn't realize that. Now that is a decent size navy. Let's actually spy on our ally here. Okay, so they've got a lot of levy pikes. Okay. They own a strong point in the map, and they've fortified here. Interesting. Let's go ahead and send our agents west. While this man here... I want to get maybe... We want to get something else, like maybe some ranged, longer range will be better for us. Two slingers. Practice. I don't want to get too many ranged in this army. Two slingers, and then we'll grab five more of those with three cavalry. Meanwhile, Lydia is going to be the economic center. I keep forgetting where it's at. So let's have a looky here. Two public order, two squalor, six banditry, but five wealth. There was one here. Yeah, fi from this one. Jeweler. Because it'll increase the bonuses we're getting from the gold mine. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Because I believe politics-wise, we're doing great. Yeah. Politics is not much to look at here. Yeah. 
it may, this makes me realize just how uh, how slow divided and pit us turn timers are, because we we fly through these. There's some naval. Con There's a lot of naval island hopping going on in this campaign, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh, it's not fine because they've given us a food shortage. Son of a gun. Level up the agent. Why not? And over here. Yep, slums. Destroy. It also costs money, which is annoying. They should rebel, but that is the thing we can actually do. We can uh, put these guys. Why is it trying to do that? Ah, uh, they're gonna suffer from attrition no matter what we do. That's annoying. Okay, but Byzantium took the capital of Lysander March. They now own that province. Athena give you wisdom. Oh, though that's annoying. While your rhetoric is sad. I am here to listen. Does nobody want to trade with me? Greetings, my no. Friend. Sparta, for some reason, does not like us. Oh, they're at war with... Oh, they're at war with a lot of people. Wow. Why? <laughs> Why are you at war with so many people? Oh, Empress has... Stomped Macedon. Wow. Empress has stomped them. Empress's campaign start said it was easy, though, so... But Jesus, I didn't expect him to ruin him like that. It does seem like Life's March is going to fall fairly swiftly. Hey, good job, man. I am winged victory. Good to know he's winged victory. Oh, this is one big problem. I thought those two were separate. But okay. So we'll suffer some food issues for the, this one turn, but we should be back to normal any... By next turn, anyways. It does not seem like Demetrius is going to be able to withstand Empress. Empress is going to be the main enemy of this campaign, it seems. Which is how it turned out in my normal Wrath of Sparta. Oh, whoever you are, you can have it. Don't care. It's nice to see um, these, I, I guess, emergent factions. Gosh, oof, we've gotten a lot of problems, Jesus. We hunger for battle. Yeah, it's nice to see, uh, I don't like that they're in our land, obviously, but it's nice to see, uh, all these emergent factions. Like, it's, this is not normally in, in, uh, Excellent. mods. Greetings, my like, friend. it's very nice to see that these emergent factions, like, they're just named after the settlements, it seems, but that's still... Better than it saying just up here, Achaean rebels. That's that's a nice little touch. I enjoy that. Let's go for that because I think that will give us the ducks. Also, I do wonder what is supposed to be here, because it looks like something's supposed to be here, but it's not. Either way, let's move our king. He's somewhere. There he is. Okay, so he is replenishing. Oh, it's up here because we have a food shortage up here. That we're losing uh, troops in that area. Where was the region that got that? Okay, so we don't need to destroy that because it should rebel next turn. But we can repair at least the settlement. Meanwhile, this army here, I still think it's tough enough to take Sestos. It's quick save, and I'll tell you what. Uh, that's a lot of cavalry, actually. I don't know if getting into a battle with them would be smart for us. What's the auto resolve looking like? Wow. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to actually fight it. Fuck it. We've gone one whole episode without getting into a battle, so we might as well go against... It might be rebels, but at least it's still a battle. I was talking about how I don't like them called being called a key and rebels, so might as well try and deal with them. Problems things we're going to get from this is uh, archers are assholes, cavalry is going to be assholes, and the pick top lights. But, let's get into this. 
nonetheless. Okay. So we are going to deploy the same tactic they use, probably. So we're going to guard mode, hoplite wall. Thracians shall come around maybe the center, over here. Skirmishers, we should probably have the skirmishers follow them. The slingers will go in front. Cavalry act as rear guard, along with the general. Alright, let's move them forward. Because they've got a lot of cavalry. It is a full stack, so... If we can contain their cavalry, it'll be a lot easier to deal with them. Hoplites, we need them lined up. Like that. Put the slingers right here. Thracian cavalry needs to be ready to attack if we need them. They are being engaged already. Run said hoplites. Eliminate the few range units we see. Here's, this is going to be the biggest issue, these picked rebel hoplites. But okay, let's get into this. Hoplites, begin your slow march forward as our slingers handle their ranged forces. And the Thracians are slowly getting a position. I'll tell you what, we can probably do this. Move the general up forward just a little bit. Let's show them some Thracian might. Thracian might. March boys. They're militia for crying out loud. Two forces in front. This way. The rest of you this way. There we go. We've triggered them. Uh oh. Halt. Oh, that's going to do some damage to us, but. We've instantly broken their front line. You boys get right there. Oh, here we go. A nice... Oh, they turned around. They did manage to turn around, which is annoying. Oh, that's a good rear charge. Ouch. Go right there. Slingers are hitting into the back wall there. Reposition. We're kill them. You two kill them. I don't expect much from this. The enemies, they're all militia. Slow march into their rears. Come on, boys, get in there. <laughs> Slowly encircle them. Ignore the cavalry that's stuck in here. It's so interesting to see Greece as a... Uh, ooh, wow, these guys have lost a lot due to the range, I think. Meanwhile, they're getting mopped up. We are breaking them quickly. Send them in there as they are actually decent in melee. Right there. Oh, we're mopping up their archers. I was wondering where their range was. Fight, men. Fight. Yeah, we're, we will make quick work of these guys. Yeah, come on. Ooh. Making quick work of militias. Alright, let's head around. Head, head around. Don't, don't charge the spears, please. Hoplites can march quickly. 
There's two of these guys. Y'all can pull out, actually. That's not... You don't have a lot of men left. Head up the rear. I was wondering why these guys were holding on lo longer. They got boosted by a cavalry charge. But we'll deal with both of them anyways. Nice cinematic battle. Oh, I should have corrected myself if I didn't. I think I did in long, uh, two episodes ago, but these are not Sika Blades, if anybody is thinking that. It was posted in one of my videos what they were called, but I'm glad I was corrected on that. Oh, somebody's been engaged. Oh, yep. Well, they're about to hit the pit, the pit top of lights. Kill Calvary if you would not mind eliminating them. They're doing their best to get over here and stop our advance into this corner. Let's turn off guard mode. And that unit is gone. Pull back. Might as well get them in here. Oh, what are you all doing? We'll send one down that way. We'll move the general in, might as well. And he's turned tail. Now get in there. Oh god, you can't even see him anymore. They've got a lot of holding power though, but considering they didn't lose anything. get the general around here just to help him out real quick. Oh. We did manage to beat them with that singular charge. The general is... He's getting sandwiched in the back right here. Oh, that's such a shitty charge because of what I just did there. Oh. Come on, guys. It's okay. It's all right. They're just, they're just rebels. And they're breaking. We're going to speed it up here because obviously there's nothing to see. And there we go. I wouldn't call it close. I mean, they did too. We're still above a thousand troops. And who got the most kills of these rebel scum? Let's see here. It's going to be one of the three. -ish. No, it's not one of the, it goes to this cavalry unit here. Very nice. Probably because it was able to mop up like how many archer units. I will occupy. Oh, hello. Huh. I, now that I think about it, probably shouldn't have done this. The garrison's now depleted. I mean, we could recruit some mercenaries. It would probably be best to abandon the settlement and then retake it, perhaps. Let's move our spy forward. I knew this army was somewhere. I was stupid to forget it. Uh, I think if we recruit some mercenaries, we might be a little better off. So let's go ahead and merge some of these hoplite units that were hurt. And then some of these Thracian warriors. There we go. Let's just get everybody up to full. Alright, get rid of you, you, and you. And now we can recruit mercenaries. So let's get two of you. Two hoplites. Oh, I like the little mercenary icon there. I don't know if it's always been there or not, but I like it. Now we're as full as we can be there. And our king, I think we've already moved him. Yep. Alrighty. So let's see what this does. This will... Uh, it's a nice even playing field, I think. They've got a lot of pikes, so... Uh, they might be enticed on trying to take us out. Or not. 
or not. Interesting. So they did not think we could win that. Interesting enough, uh, the Militos army <laughs> destroyed a rebellion on Samos, meaning we're not gonna get rid of the slums. Which is annoying. The one time we don't want an ally to assist us in battle, they do. Which means we're stuck with this province again. And this game, iconically, doesn't have region trading. Meaning we cannot get rid of Samos through conventional means. Other than just letting it rebel again. And again. And again. Which, uh, as long as we don't go into Pergamon, which is the only place that has food shortage, which is actually killing our public order right now. Repair that. They didn't attack us, which is so interesting. Oh, Sestos, really? Oh, guys, 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 guys. I don't know what to do. We could really, I mean, we could hurt them here. But we should probably pull back. Son of a bitch. I didn't want to pull back. Now we're going to hold it. Can we... Alright, we're not suffering attrition anymore, and we are still within range of that. That's good. Pergamon, we're going to get five food, which will make it a little better. Both of these are taking six food from us right now, which is annoying. Alright. Where did we lose all our money from? We're repairing something, aren't we? Yeah, the, the food up here. Let's get rid of that, and let's go over here and get rid of the two slums. Which will bring us down a lot closer to where we need to be. Oh, we have a general's ability. It's nice to go from this campaign, or to my Divide into Peta campaign, to this one. This one is a lot more... A lot more uh, the world is against us. Because in our Avasi campaign, the, the world is against us. The AI are ruining us. And <laughs> that rebel army is running again. Hopefully Militos will stay away from Samos. We want to get rid of Samos. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I know. We suffered another rebellion. Let's see here. Alright, so we're at negative two. Let's repair this. 770 actually let's just how about we actually just say fuck it and we need two turns we'll get four food there and I guess we can begin an early does anything give sanitation po far or wide that's what we need to figure out so we can use this as a little a little tester here nothing gives sanitation province wide which is a sucky realization damn yeah that really sucks wow all right well i mean honestly we could just get two food here at samos there's no reason to get anything else other than maybe a sacred ground but let's just get two no let's wait wait muster field do we want nah Let's get the sacred grounds instead. So it seems we will be holding on to Samos as the AI refuses to let us get rid of it. Interesting problem that we're having here, but it'll solve our food issues next turn, or within two turns. And we're going to go ahead and end... I would like to actually mop this army up. Matt, let's end our turn. And... I was expecting to have to fight Demetrios a lot this campaign, but he's been completely pushed out of uh, Macedon's original territory. Uh-oh. Really? Alright, this doesn't prove to you that things you say can be used against you. I don't know what will. We just invested money into Samos as soon as they... Those fuckers... I hate them so much. Well, I hate them. 
I do hate them with a burning passion now. That was a dick move, man. That was a dick move. Okay. Well, I don't want to have to fight you, but you took that off our hand. I will listen. But they want peace again, those fuckers. The matters of state and a splendid bowl. Yeah, fuck you. Excellent. We will kill you, but not now. Welcome. We'll do it later, but we will kill you for taking Samos the way you did after I invested money into it. You bastards. Alright, the king still needs to march north towards Pergamon because he needs to fix his army. Repair that, and finally destroy this slum here. Put you guys back. Nope, you're going to still suffer attrition. The general can get that skill. Not the general, but the agent. Meanwhile, we're going to activate guerrilla activities here. Let's just keep spying. I tell you what, our spy actually needs to go check out Imperos, because we need to see what they're working with, because they ravaged Macedon pretty quickly. But, uh, we got a little battle in there, and I think I'm going to have to call it here, guys. It's at the 30, uh, past 31 minute mark. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, and tick that little notification button if you really want to keep track of the videos I post. This campaign's a lot more relaxed than my other two, which I'm kind of grateful for. It's a nice little peaceful Wednesday video that you can just sort of play in the background if you enjoy it that much. But, yeah, uh, leave a like if you want to, or a comment. That's always great. I love reading comments. But this has been Spartan, and I'll see you in the next video.